Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Product School webinar. Thanks for joining us today. Just in case you didn't know, Product School offers product management certificates online and at our 20 campuses worldwide. On top of that, every week we offer some amazing local product management events and host online webinars, live streams, and Ask Me Anything sessions. Head over to productschool.com after this webinar to check them out. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Uttam Kumar. I'm currently working as a senior product manager with Alfari Technology. And today I'm going to talk about how to drive product development with remote teams. And I feel that this topic is very relevant in current world scenario where the, the teams are located across the world and the businesses are also so globalized in this one. So that's why I've chosen a topic that is pretty relevant and it will be of great help with, with any product managers. So agenda for today's discussion is that what are the things that impact uh, the current world scenario where the team is working with remote teams. Second, why we are talking about this in product management. The third one is that how it impacts the product development process because this, I personally believe that product development is itself so complicated process and with the teams that are remote in nature and working, uh, not working face to face, it has a big impact on the developing any world-class product. And the finally, I would put some learning from my real world experience and from the, some of the expert in the field that how we can navigate this kind of a situation successfully so that we can be uh, develop uh, or a very customer centric product. So let's get started. Changing work landscape effect. So what does this mean? Because in the last decade or so, we are observing that the business, the way we are doing the business has changed drastically. And there are many various reasons for this. One of the reasons that has led the business to be done differently is the globalization. Of course, the, you know, there are companies who have their offices around the world. There are companies who has offices or customers in China versus the development center in India, but the R&D in USA. So this, with this globalization, the nature of business has changed tremendously in last many years. The, and the good thing about this globalization is having the right technology in the place. With the current technology advancement, it is, and this thing, these globalization has been made possible. We are talking about smartphone, IoT devices, uh, cloud infrastructure, and the, you know, the, all this technology has led to a much more connected business in this, in, in this scenario. The third one is the cost management. Everyone is pressed to save dollars in this, you know, competitive environment. So what about that we, people are looking for opportunity where they can get rid of some costs or reduce their operational expenses. So that's why remote team is also one way to reduce the cost. The next one is the work culture, the work environment. You know, if we are talking about last 25 years or so, the work environment has got changed tremendously. It has gone from much more hierarchical to open and collaborative work. Where, where the CEO and the analyst, product manager, developer, everyone has a say on the table. So this has been a really uh, been needed because of such innovation that is being needed in the market. And the finally, the larger talent pool. Now, with this such a complicated and innovative product that we are going to develop, we need a very good talent. And it might be very difficult to find in a local place. So we may have to look around and look around the world to get those talent in our company. So if we talk about these scenarios that we can realize that why remote team is so popular now and it has become a new normal. So let's talk about that, why we are talking about remote teams in product management and how it impacts. 
no matter where you work as a product manager it has it is a reality in any company whether you work for a startup or a corporate company you work for a big company or a small company you are encountering people who are not coming to office every day and you have to make this work so uh, so this has been a reality no matter whether qa is working uh, at home or the devel development team is outsourced to some other country so it is it is a reality whether we accept it or not and how it impacts product management because i personally feel that product management is such a complicated process and this is because the nature you have to take an idea and convert into a reality and make it lovable by the customers this itself takes a lot of effort it requires a cross functional coordination and product management if and everyone who is working product manager is aware of this Venn diagram we as a product manager we are right in the middle of the conundrum whether it's business customer and technology and it requires a lot of effort a lot of focus and a lot of coordination to ensure that we deliver a best product in the market so so once so once we accept that a remote team is a reality that how we can manage it successfully and develop a for good product out in the market so i put down few points especially five points which we have to work through in to ensure that we develop the product that customer love and these are not specifically to the product management but general to be followed by the company and i will go more in details of these five points but let's talk about these five points we have to establish culture of trust what does that mean this means that we have to believe in the people's ability and their commitment to the work the second one is alignment with the product vision and purpose we have to ensure that whoever works in the product or engaged with the product must must understand that where we are heading with the product vision and why we are solving this problem the third one is the establishing the belief during product development that means we are going to solve this problem and we will be successful the fourth one is establishing the right communication strategy and channels and the way we engage to the people on a day-to-day -day basis how should we go about it? and finally in this technology world we have to have a reliable technology and tools in place to ensure success now let's go in detail on each of these topics Establish culture of trust. What does this mean? It, it is very important for any innovative company to ensure that their teams are totally aligned and have a firm belief that what company is doing. It does not matter whether the, the, the person or employee is a CEO or a sales or a product or developer, but we must, everyone must believe in. And once it is the, once the team member is believe in what company is doing it doesn't matter whether they are coming to office or not but they are self-motivated to do the right thing and to keep the matter light it's also important to know each other outside world you know we have must know that no matter even if you are not meeting them face to face you have to respect everyone you know and know them outside the world you know how their family is doing do are they doing having a great time or what are their vacation look like who are there in family what are their favorite hobbies you know so establish that connection so that uh, you know that uh, that requires and is you know augments much more collaboration in the workplace the third one is everyone must promote open communication no matter who how big you are in terms of position everyone must have a say on the table and everyone must listen it's also important that you share the success of the company even if there is a small ensure that you communicate to the team and in and so that everyone feels good about it it's also important to talk about failures if there are failures that how we can 
learn from that failures and take corrective action so that so that in future you can you can develop much more better product based on your learning the third second one is the alignment with product vision and purpose it's important that whoever is associated with the product must believe that we are solving the right problem and the solution that we are going to offer will help customer with their problem it, it is very important the second one is that everyone should have a big good conviction in the opportunity that lies ahead means if we are solving the problem are we going to make money out of it are we going to change the life of the people by uh, our solution it must we must believe it and at times as a product manager you also need to present customer data to the people you know the developers qas or the analyst whoever are working on the this if you present as customer data they will have a belief in you that you know you are solving the right problem and you are guiding them to to solve a right problem and the finally we must define and measure the KPI for the success. What the success looks like once the product is out. Are we going to acquire new customer or are we going to have much more engagement with the existing customer? These type of KPIs help them, help everyone in the company to grow and you know to ensure that we the our problems, the customer's problem are being solved correctly. The, the, this is probably the most important part of working in a remote team. We must have a clear communication strategy and engagement channels. It must establish open communication, whether you are talking in a big team or you are talking one to one. It must, it's important that you listen to others. The second one is you must set up a communication baseline. Say for example, if you are going to talk to certain people or send an email, it's important that what should be their response time. If the response time is those baseline are established, that your expectation is set. The third one is established communication expectation. Means if we are going to set up a meeting, we will stick to the right agenda. We will have the action item and everyone and who will follow up. And it's also important that to establish a strategy that the uh, team has to meet face to face once in a quarter or every six months. So this this kind of a baseline and expectation will help everyone to come on the same platform on the same forum. And at times it's imp also important to have a key point of contact. There might be multiple developers working, might be a multiple QA guys working with the product manager. But who should be your point of contact so that you know at the time of emergency that you can reach out to them um, you know without any communication gap and the finally as a product manager it's our job to actively engage the developers qa business analysts and to ensure that they are continuously working and they are getting feedback as necessary and it's also our job to ensure the requirements are clear right from the word go. We, and it can be done by asking a lot of questions, providing the right mockups, and anything that you need to do. Ensure that you are available for them. The finally, since the remote teams are located all over the world, that what should we do about it? Ensure we establish a regular virtual meeting no matter where they are there are a lot of meeting tools available in the market google meet skype zoom webex use that subscribe to that and ensure that people are available through that channels and second one is establish effective communication channel so there are a lot of right now the you know forums or whatsapp group or slack people can subscribe to and you get notified all at once so if you have to publish something and it you want everyone in the team to know about the something or you want ideas or you want to uh, get stuck and need some help these kind of open communication channel help to bring everyone on the same page the third one is to how to centralize information 
means the Google document is one very good example and we use as in a company use it a lot and it helps tremendously so if you have a central information everyone in the team can go through them edit them modify them provide comments so this type of documents are running documents help to centralize information and to ensure that communication is not lost in the translation. The next one are the project planning tool. So there are web-based project planning tools so that everyone can contribute, whether it's an individual contributor or your project manager or someone to the management. If we are using the web-based project management tool, they are going to keep you aligned with the timeline. Then there are other requirement tracking tool or issue tracking tool, whether it's Jira, Confluence, there are a lot in the market and, and you can work on any of them, whatever works for you or for your company. But the idea is that if it, there is a tracking tool, it helps you to focus that what is important, you can set priority and you can say that this, whether we can live with this issue or not, and if there is a new requirement, you can put it in there for easy track. So when we talk about these tools, communications and, uh, you know, trust, and it is very important that in this complicated business scenario, the and when the teams are wide apart, these tools, technology helps tremendously in making sure that that everyone is aligned to the product vision and you develop a cool product for the customers. And with that, I would like to thank you for your time and feel free to reach out to me at utam at alfaori.sg. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you.